guys. So today is October 20th. So as we know, Halloween is next weekend. And since there's COVID, obviously nothing's really going on, but of course I still want to dress up. So I figured it would be cool to like go through the process of like getting my costume together. So I decided this year I'm going to be an alien or a fairy. I think I'm going to be an alien because I was a fairy last year, but I'm going to make my costume this year. So I was kind of thinking I want to make like a costume that's like a two piece. It's like really like, you know, a little slutty. It used to be like a bralette style type of top. But like, since I have really small boobs, I want to make my boobs look good. And then kind of like a really small bottom. This is gonna be kind of like a vlog, I guess, of trying to like get together my costume. I have my wig already. One thing I do have for the costume is my wig. So I got this last year, but I never ended up wearing it. So I'm gonna base my costume off of this like purple wig I have. That's like a bob, it's super duper cute. So I am going to wear this wig. So I think the costume is gonna be kind of purple, like these shoes that I'm probably gonna wear, or I was thinking of getting like silver go-go boots, but I don't really wanna spend that much money. So yeah, join me on this journey of trying to get my costume together. I hope it comes out really, really cute. A little update, I purchased the fabric for my costume and I'm gonna start making it. So I just went to Joann's and I got this like purple shimmery kind of fabric. It's stretchy and I wanted it to be stretchy so it really like was skin tight to my body. So I'm gonna be making a two piece set with this. I don't know yet how the top is gonna look but I'm gonna start doing the bottom right now. Uh, I'm basing the bottom off of this pair of um, like underwear I have. It's like obviously underwear but as you can see it like it's kind of high-waisted and it like is cheeky so basically all i did was that pair of underwear and i like made like a stencil type of thing so i'm just gonna trace it on this fabric and then cut it out and then i'll show you guys what i do i'm no professional at sewing or anything i just kind of do it like however i think it'll work um, I kind of just wing it all the time, so I'm definitely no professional, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the process of me doing this in case you guys want to make your own costume. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so like I said, I basically just folded the fabric in half so I can get two um, pieces of it. So I'm going to take the stencil and I'm just going to put it on there i'm gonna like take and then i'm gonna trace it and then i'm gonna cut it so it's obviously two separate pieces okay my floor is like gross but i cut them out but i left a little like extra space for when i like sew it obviously um it's also very sloppy it, it'll be okay because we're gonna um fix it once like we're done sewing but now what i'm gonna do Okay, so now since the fabric is super duper stretchy, it leaves a lot of room to be able to just work with this, I feel like. Um, so I'm going to take both of the sides and put them together like this. So I'm going to obviously like put them together like this. The um, part that's going to be on the outside, put it on the inside, you know what I mean? So it's just like the two pieces on the edge. And I'm going to first sew this side so they're connected so i'm just taking some pins and just connect like connecting um the two ends so i can just quickly sew it together so since we're doing it on the inside when you sew it the seam like won't really show so obviously i pinned it like this so then when it's all done it's just gonna look like this so those like sloppy edges that you made is not gonna matter because when you like sew it, it obviously won't show. So as you can see, I sewed this. So now it looks like this and it's like actually becoming a bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew just this little bottom piece. So um, obviously it looks like more like the shorts type of thing. Um, just do it a little bit. Don't do it like make sure it doesn't like go up here how you see like these it's just like this one stitch 
all the way down there. That's all you really have to do just so obviously it's not like a skirt. Did that. So it's starting to actually look like bottoms now and I'm just going to do the other side next. So obviously then it's actually going to be like the bottoms and then I'm just going to adjust like this and like clean the edges up and then the waistband too and then I should be done with the bottoms honestly. I'm really curious how they're going to look on. So yeah, I'll update you guys after that. Okay, so it's a different day and I'm going to try and make the top for my costume. I showed you guys me making the bottoms and it was pretty simple and I kind of made a top really sloppily. This top is kind of like an off the shoulder like top like this. It looks really cute but I have extra fabric and I wanted to try and make like an off the shoulder one so I have this off the shoulder top that I'm going to do what I did with the bottoms and make like a stencil so I can try and like make an off the shoulder top. So I made the stencil and I'm gonna cut it out the fabric and then I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and try and sew together. Hey guys, so here's an update on my Halloween costume. It is Wednesday before Halloween. I ordered these shoes to wear with my costume and they just came in and I'm literally so excited. So take pictures. I'm gonna put the costume on, makeup on, and I'm going to take photos in my costume because I don't like know, I don't, I'm not really doing anything for Halloween, but I just wanted to dress up. So I decided that, yeah. And this person, I'll put the seller right here that I bought the shoes off. She has so many shoes and it came so fast and the packaging is like super duper nice. So it comes in like dust bags and stuff. So these are them. I got these like silver go-go boots so freaking cute oh my god i'm so excited made the shirt without like explaining it so this is the shirt that i made it's kind of like an a one shoulder type of top basically all i did i showed the two little um like the little stencil that i made and then i cut it out and obviously i just sewed together both of the pieces and as you can see on the inside i kind of cleaned up the edges by like sewing it like this i'm no professional at all i just kind of do whatever works okay so i also bought these like antenna things i don't know if that's what they're called but i bought these and my halloween costume is complete um so yeah i also have this purple wig i don't know if i showed you guys but this is the wig i'm gonna wear this purple wig this is from spirit halloween it's like a, just a little purple bob it's so so cute and i'm gonna wear it with the antennas and i'm gonna do some cute makeup but yeah i just did my normal makeup and i'm gonna i'm gonna start my eyeshadow i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i mean my whole thing is kind of purple so maybe i'm just gonna do like super duper purple sparkly uh makeup i wanted to get like loose glitter but they didn't have it at Party City for some reason. But I have this palette that has like a lot of really sparkly colors. And then I also have this palette that has like this really cute green sparkly that I might use. And then I have this palette that's the Sugar Crystal palette that has purples. So I'm honestly not the best at makeup. So I'm not going to film this because I feel like I'm just not that good at makeup. I'm kind of just winging it. But I wanted to just show you guys the process of me getting ready. Okay, everyone. So to end off this video. Um, so yesterday when uh, the last clip you guys saw was me, like my makeup. I didn't take a video of me with everything on. I will insert pictures, the pictures that I took with the outfit on. Overall, like I'm really proud of myself. I think it looks really, really good. And I'm really excited i mean like this halloween is obviously kind of like weird because of everything going on but um yeah i think it was it came out really really good and my vision came to life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this video is kind of like chaotic but i really wanted to film the process of me making everything and i hope you guys have an amazing halloween comment down below what you guys are being for halloween 
I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Swerving, getting all them dimes. Tell her I be doing, I be swagging to my prime. This ain't all the time, it happen all the time. That's a big contradiction. Get your money on your mind. What? What? Tell her I be on the chase, chasing for that.